This is a Mega. I never used one of these before, so I'm gonna get my guy. I always use a digital flute. But I'm gonna get my guy to show, show me how to uh, use this style right here. Cause I have one, I just never used it. 1,500, 250. That's the same as my uh, digital. Well, he got a set for 250. My flute 1507. He has a 250, 500, and 1,000. Both also. I'm gonna let, let it give, give us a demonstration of how to use this. This unit was tripping the breaker, so we just uh, was running fine now, though. We just nagged out the compressor to make sure it was good before we fire it up. making high voltage so mm -hmm. if you're, you're just using your uh, meter mm -hmm. you have whatever voltage your meter's got mm -hmm. you know if you got two triple a batteries you got three volts if you got a nine volt battery you got nine volts mm -hmm. this thing uh, got, two, you got a two, switch five, on the side two fifty five hundred and a okay. thousand mm -hmm. so in this case since we're 240 volts we do 250 if we're doing a uh, 440 we want to put it on 500 and uh Really don't need a thousand. Nah, no, not in our do. case. And so, uh, and so the the minimum is you have one thousand ohms per volt. Mm -hmm. So if we got a two forty yeah. volt system, that means two hundred forty thousand ohms should technically be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can go to just for an example of. of how this can kind of be misleading. You can go to uh, an AMC and you'll have a ground fault on the VFD. You seen those? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can measure to ground and you may be getting 500,000 ohms. Well, the motor may not necessarily be bad. In that case, the, the windings may be wet. Mm -hmm. So typically what you do is you take the VFD offline, uh, run the motor direct, and let it dry itself out. Okay. Because the VFD is sensitive enough right. that, that it will give you ground fault. Yes. And then after you run it for a period of time, make sure it's 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 uh, dried out. You can hook the uh, VFD back up, or take it out of bypass, put it in run VFD, and, and, alarm it, will go away. and it should go away. Mm -hmm. Or you could even make it afterwards. Okay. Okay, now what you never, never do is make a compressor that's in a vacuum okay because the refrigerant inside the circuit acts as an insulator okay you know like like you got the the uh, the, the terminals that come out through that ceramic plug mm -hmm. okay they're bare on the inside so if you're in a vacuum and a vacuum doesn't necessarily conduct electricity but it has no resistance so if you put your megger on uh, to, to check it while it's in a vacuum you'll cause a short and you'll ruin the wiring oh you'll, you'll cause a short yeah you you yeah. you you will destroy it I never thought about trying to mega motor though while it was on the back well okay. somebody have or of course do someone that. has done mm -hmm. that that's why they know yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, there, there's even like extreme cases mm -hmm. Uh, like maybe, uh, and, and Haynes will tell a story like this, that there was like a, a, a crankcase heater or something that someone was checking and why they were checking it with a mega, I don't know. And it was mm -hmm. hooked up to the, the con compressor wiring and, and they, when they checked it, they, they destroyed the compressor. Mm -hmm. I think, I think maybe that's a story. Yeah. I don't know, but mm -hmm. never, never, never yeah. Meg anything under a vacuum. Okay. Ever, 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 ever. Yeah. 
And, and so what we're trying to do is establish, okay, so when, when I first came here, first thing I did was put my meter on it. And I, we're gonna read ohms, I'm gonna check it to ground. And, oh, that's volts. I'm gonna put it on ohms, check it to ground, and it, it won't read. Mm -hmm. I was reading like 22 million earlier. It's not reading it all. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can kind of fool it. There we go, we'll try that. Now we'll try it, Let's see if I can. No, I can't fool it this time. Okay, I'm checking the ground now. My ground's not really good. Okay, suction line or the discharge line because that's connected to the compressor mm -hmm. you know and, and if if you are going to actually check a compressor you need to take it all the way to the compressor mm -hmm. and check on it mm -hmm. you know if, if you have bad wiring here and it's saying it's going to ground you just don't condemn the compressor you go to the compressor take the wiring mm -hmm. off and make sure it's not the wiring mm -hmm. but you probably knew that without me telling you that mm -hmm. so and what you want to do is isolate it. Now, again, like I said, I've, I've checked this compressor at the compressor. I've mm -hmm. checked all the wiring. Right. Okay, so, and, and to, to make this thing, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to isolate it from the circuit because we know the fan's connected to that part of the circuit. Mm -hmm. And my, my other wire here is, is hot right here all the time. And the fan's not connected to that since the fan's single phase. So we're, we're disconnected there. Okay. Okay, so we, the, we have three ranges on here. Uh, the top range would be for 250 volts, middle range 500, and this one's 1,000. And it's marked here at the end. 250, 500, and 1,000. Okay, at the end right here. Okay. It's not very well distinguished. Okay, we've got a ground and a line. Okay, and, and, and why do they need a... So, so what's this indicating right here? Well, well it's not it's indicating anything right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this on one of the wires. We're going to crank it. Spark wire. Yeah. Well, you can't do it the other way. Okay. And it's going to like five megabits. Okay, so just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and put our ground on the discharge. Mm -hmm. We're going to crank it again. Nothing's happening. Now, just to check and make sure everything's okay, we're going to ground this one out. Mm -hmm. We're going to crank. Whoops! Oh, okay. That's what a bad one would look like. Okay, so a bad one is going to go to that zero right yeah, there. Yeah, so we're going to put it back. Okay. And we're going to crank it. We're going to go back to... Whatever. Okay. We're reading one meg, so it's okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, what would happen if it went up here? Oh, it's fine then. Uh -huh. It's really good it's then. Really good then. Cause, okay. Because this is well, this is zero, uh -huh. and that is infinity. Okay. Okay. So correct, create another ground for me again. I want to see. Okay. Crank so, it. So so we created a ground. Yeah. yeah. A direct show. Yeah. yeah. That's direct show. I'm straight to zero. Okay. I'm just gonna let it kind of drift back. Okay, so that's yeah. that's measuring like one and a half meg. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, well within our thousand ohms per volt okay. range. Okay. So you got this in the ground. So what if I uh, let me see. What if we uh, want to see you do it? No, my bad. I want to touch this right here. To touch this chassis. You put that alligator clamp on there like that.